What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today, we're going to be talking about something specific, and that is non fungible tokens, also known as NFTs. Now, as people are quite aware, NFTs are very speculative assets, and a lot of people have their different feelings around NFTs. Some people are doubtful, people think we're in a bubble, then other artists or collectors think that this is definitely the future of assets. So while other people invest in cryptocurrencies, some people invest in NFTs. And so this is obviously the new craze thing. And the reason it's taken me a long time to kind of wrap my head around this is because even though I am an art collector, I do even with all transparency own some Banksy items, uh, I was really speculative around the NFT space. And so I wanted to show with you guys why I decided to buy my first NFT today on solanaart.io and that is basically artwork that is built on the solana blockchain specifically i will tell you at the end what i did buy so with that said before we begin be sure to like that button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and let's begin so we're going to start off with this first article which is uh, it talks about the pretty much cash inflows into all the blockchains. And this is on CoinShares. You can download this document today if you feel like it. But as you can see, Solana is one of the top blockchains that is seeing a lot of cash inflow. So if you notice, Bitcoin is at 15, Ethereum is at six, and Solana is next at four. And right now, even with this uh, slight outage that it had due to uh, a spam bot attack, it still saw inflows of 4.8 million, and it doesn't seem like it's slowing down. So why is that? Well, it's because the Solana blockchain is fast, it's efficient, it's quick. I've tested it out myself, and guess what? Transaction fees are low. Now, I wanted to show you the first NFT that I thought was really interesting, what kind of got me inter uh, interested in the Solana NFT world rather than on Ethereum. Uh, it all started a long time ago when Steve Harvey posted uh, on his profile picture uh, a little image of a monkey and I was curious what this monkey was and it was a monkey based on the Solana blockchain and if we go into what that is well it's the Solana monkey business now you haven't been to this website it's called Solana analysis Solana analysis uh, allows you to understand what the floor price is what the trading volume is if it's down up or down within 24 hours and also the seven day volume trading as well and uh, it also gives you that floor price. So just keep in mind, that's the floor price uh, of the lowest cost of the Solana monkey business. And recently Solana monkey business, there's only been 5,000 minted. Someone bought a ton of Solana monkey business uh, NFTs in one batch, and that actually increased the price quite a bit. Uh, before that, it was Degenerate Apes Academy. There were 10,000 minted. And right now the floor price is 69 uh, Solanas, which is quite a bit. And so I was looking through this and I was trying to decide which one really works with me. What do I see as an investment for the next few months to a year that can go up in value? And I only wanted to get one. So I was going down this list and uh, I was, what really helps me is uh, how much is it selling for? What is the floor price and how many Twitter followers are there? Because uh, Twitter followers show you the active users that are supporting the project, so forth, so on. So obviously I could not, uh, I don't want to speculate enough funds to buy Degenerate Apes because it's very hot right now in terms of price. Same thing with Solana Monkey business, uh, along with uh, Thugbirds, 54, 15, again, too much, too high. So as I was going down the list, I was like, oh, what about Infinity Labs? Well, only 13,000 followers. What about soul punks? Well, it's like crypto punks, but it's a little bit of its own kind. I didn't feel like that was original. I don't like going with copycats. So, and they only had 19,000 followers. And as I go down, I didn't want bold badgers because bold badgers was more like drawings. I noticed a lot of great crypto NFTs happen to be pixelated. And so all of a sudden I saw this one called Salamas and only 10,000 were minted, but Salamas really stuck out to me is because it was one of the first releases of NFTs on the Solana blockchain, aka solanaart.io. And I noticed that the floor price was around five and it's been selling around 5.2. And it has a great following of 22,000. And I wanted to look into this and uh, I basically just went on the Solana's NFT Twitter page and the community is just so responsive, so supportive. I see the amount of active activity 
in this and I see that people really take this seriously and honestly Salamas is a really creative unique name and I do have to say when you look at this artwork you're kind of suspicious around can this actually make you money and now I also think that you should think of it as is this artwork first is this quality artwork that you can see for yourself as being uh, something that you can hang on your wall something that you can hang in a, a pop-up NFT museum and I honestly think that that's the case and I wouldn't be surprised if someone in the future decided to take this and uh, buy a whole bunch of them and for five Solanas I think that's a great deal and if uh, five Solanas is around like 600 to like $700 because right now each Solana is around $137 uh, at the time of this recording so I decided that I wanted to pick a Solana NFT uh, from the Solana's portfolio and this is basically what I bought. Uh, so I'll show you how it kind of works on the solanaart.io and we'll go from there. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and connect our wallet. Make sure to choose Phantom. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna find our favorite NFT, Keishan the Great. That, that's definitely the one that I want. Kishan the Great has uniquely generated Q and collectible llama with proof of ownership on the Solana blockchain. He was 4,008 to be minted. Yeah, I'll buy that. And then we're gonna approve of this transaction. There we go. It is confirmed, transaction is complete. We're gonna go and click okay. We're gonna go to our wallet. We're gonna hit the refresh button. And there we are, Kashan the Great. Now it is in my portfolio. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was just pretty much a demonstration of how to buy NFTs on the Solana Dart IO. And uh, it's pretty, fairly easy, it's fairly easy. And it's my first NFT. I, again, am very uh, speculative around this, but again, I only needed one. And again, I did all my research to find a reasonable NFT that I can buy for a low price with promising value in the future and also low transaction fees. I didn't want to have to pay another $20, $100 to $500 for transaction fees on Ethereum network. And I could see that this would get a lot better. So uh, this is not a paid sponsorship video. This is just what my own personal opinion. And I honestly wanted to do the right uh, investment as well. So with that said, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Be sure to like that button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, 